This offense is predicated around C.D. Lamb, in my, in my opinion. When you look at Dak Pres Prescott, who's the quarterback, and getting him the football over 1,700 yards, surpassed Michael Irvin this year for most, most yards in a single season by a Cowboys wide receiver. We know how dependent the Cowboys are on throwing the football. They haven't got better on their offensive line. They haven't got a running back yet. So, C.D. Lamb, sit out until you get your money. So, he has one year left on his contract, and so does his quarterback, Dak Prescott, and that got our Adam Schefter to thinking about the Cowboys quarterback situation, what they should be thinking as the draft approaches. Here's what Adam had to say earlier this week. What are they going to do at quarterback if they lose Dak? That's interesting, and that's why I think the Dallas Cowboys might just be a sleeper team in the quarterback market during the draft, because at some point in time, they might have to draft a quarterback higher than you'd think, because Dak is going into the last year of the contract, and it might be time to get somebody in there to start grooming him. Just like they found Dak Prescott in round four, might be time to go find another quarterback in another round to begin to get him ready. Certainly an interesting, uh, uh, an interesting perspective. Do we still have Jordan Reed here? I was going to ask Jordan what he thought. There he is. Jordan, what, uh, what, what do you think about the Cowboys potentially adding a quarterback in this draft versus whatever else they need to do? It's a lot. It's a lot. I wouldn't understand it if they did it just because you traded a fourth-round pick for Trey Lance last year, so you have your developmental guy there already. The Cowboys need starters at multiple spots. I look at their offensive line. You need a new starter at left tackle or left guard, depending on what you want to do with Tyler Smith. You, have, you need a new starter at center. Tyler Biotis is now gone to the commanders. They still not, don't have any depth along the defensive line. And, oh, yeah, they need some new linebackers, too. So they have backed themselves into a corner just because they haven't been very active or active at all in free agency. They have backed themselves into a corner with – having to hit on a lot of draft picks in this draft class. So I'm looking at the Dallas Cowboys. You have to win next year. Nothing matters what you do during the regular season. You're going to be graded next year on what you do in the postseason. They backed themselves into a corner, now forcing themselves to hit on so many draft picks just because they haven't been active in free agency. And, oh, yeah, you need a new running back, too. I didn't even name running back with Tony Pollard now gone. Yep. So you need at least three or four starters to come out of this draft class. I just don't understand the strategy that they have had this offseason, and there are a lot hinges on what they do in the upcoming NFL draft. Yeah, their inactivity on the free agent market has opened them up to a great deal of, uh, of criticism. Uh, Harry, do you think it's warranted? 100%. You look at the Washington Commanders, they got better in the offseason. You look at the Philadelphia Eagles, they got better in the offseason. They made moves. Hell, even the New York Giants went and got someone, Brian Burns, in, in a trade uh, from the Carolina Panthers. The one team that did not make, you know, drastic move in that division has been the Dallas Cowboys. So if you're going to deem yourself as a Super Bowl contender and you want to compete coming up, I think you're going to have to draft guys that can, you know, bring success to your football team immediately. You don't have time to be drafting a quarterback. And like Jordan just mentioned, you did that with the Trey Lashon when you gave up a fourth round pick for Trey Lance. So your developmental guy is already there. Put, use all your draft picks on, on players that can help you right now. What do you think, D. Wood? Well, I mean, listen, absolutely. Everything goes back to um, Dak Prescott's contract. Right. You think you know, that's held them, held them up from doing stuff this Absolutely. When you have a $59.5 million cap hit, you know, you're strapped. You can't do anything in via free agency. That's why this whole thing is so perplexing. It's like Dak comes off of a, a legit MVP type season. And there is no movement on the contract front before free agency to add pieces you know, that, that could help the Dallas Cowboys, you know, be one of these contenders in the NFC. And so, you know, I'm sitting, I'm sitting back thinking, do they really want Dak Prescott moving do, forward do after they? this year? Do they? I mean, do they? I know it takes two to right. tangle. Uh, right. I know no, it takes two. Like, you got to have the Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott, but there's been no movement. None. None why for the Dallas, for those two be, sides. Why would there not be movement? Could it be that the Dallas Cowboys aren't sure that Dak is the guy that they want? Or is it that the Cowboys think that Dak will want to test the market? Which he should, because the Dallas Cowboys have allowed Dak to be in a position where he can test the market. So I agree with you. The whole thing is perplexing. Jerry must know something we don't. Everybody does not know because what they've done, all of it together, doesn't make a lot of sense. I have heard it said that the Cowboys are having the worst season of any uh, team in the league. Is that extreme? Is that an extreme reaction? They won 12 games. Like, how much more do Wait, they need uh, to do? Here, I say all that. 
watch them go 12 and 5, and we're sitting here like wondering, like, oh, okay, are they gonna <laughs> win in the first round or not of the playoffs? Like, who who that who the heck knows with the Cowboys? I don't they think haven't they're going done anything. Five, I don't know. But, yeah. No, no, no. But that schedule they have to play. I will, say, I will say this. I will say this. They put themselves in a position where they have to be really good in the draft. But here, this yep. is the last they before we go. Are. Hembo sent this stat. Less than 10% of guarantees on their current roster come via free agency. Like, this is not a team right. that's out there, like, throw. So, it's, this is who they are. I just didn't expect them to be like this this year. 